Sample problem number two. If 120 grams of propane, C3H8, is burned in excess oxygen, how many grams of water are formed? This is a grams to grams problem, and we always need to start with a balanced chemical equation. So we have C3H8 being burned in oxygen, and whenever a carbon containing compound is burned in oxygen, it forms CO2 and H2O. We need to balance this reaction, so let's do an atom inventory, C, H, and O, C, H, O. On the left side we have three carbons, eight hydrogens, and two oxygens. On the right side we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and three oxygens, one, two in the carbon dioxide and one in the water. First, let me try to balance the carbons. I'm going to put a 3 in front of CO2. So this is now 3, and this is now 3 times 6, 7. Okay. Now let me try to... I can do the hydrogens or the oxygen next. Let me try the hydrogens. I have two hydrogens in the products and eight in the reactants. So if I multiply water by four, I'm now going to have eight hydrogens, and that will work out. But I also now have additional oxygens. I have four oxygens here and six oxygens in carbon dioxide, so that's ten oxygens. And that can um, be balanced by putting a five in front of here, this oxygen, and that's ten oxygens. So now we have a balanced chemical equation. Our wanted is how many grams of water, so question mark grams H2O, and our given is 120 grams of propane, C3H8. We need to go from 120 grams of propane to moles of propane to moles of water, two grams of water. And these are our conversion factors. To go from grams of propane to moles of propane, we need to know the molar mass of propane, which I can, well, I was going to find in a periodic table, but I already know these by heart. Three carbons is three times 12.01, which is 36.03. And 8 hydrogens is 8 times 1.008. I'm going to need the calculator for that, but I think it's something like 8.064. Let's see, 8 times 1.008, 8.064. We're going to add the carbons to that, 36.03. And the molar mass of propane is, so 1, one mole of, pro, of propane, C3H8, is equal to 44.094 moles. So that's our conversion factor there. To go from moles of propane to moles of water, we need a balanced equation. We know for every one mole of propane, we're going to make four moles of water. So one mole C3H8 equals four moles of water. And our last conversion factor is to go from moles of water to grams of water. And we should know by now that the molar mass of water, one mole of H2O, is equal to 18.016 grams. So now we, ha so let's just highlight our conversion factors here, and we're ready to set up the problem. We set up the problem. Question mark wanted equals given dot line. Question mark grams H2O. She wanted to do that in blue. Question mark grams H2O equals 120 grams C3H8 dot line. I want to cancel out grams C through H, C3H8, so I need a conversion factor. Oh, I made a mistake here. Here's a conversion factor that has grams of C3H8, and that's the one right there. I know that there are 44.094 grams in one mole of C3H8, so the grams will cancel out. 
So now we have moles of C3H8. We need to convert that to moles of H2O. So we're going to cancel out moles of C3H8 by putting 1 mole of C3H8 is equal to 4 moles of water. And the moles of C3H8 will cancel out. And then last but not least, we need to convert moles of water to grams of water. So we know that one mole of water, we're going to put the mole in the denominator so it cancels out, is equal to 18.016 grams of water. And the moles of water cancel out. Now all we need to do is multiply our numerators um, together and divide by our denominators, and we should have our answer. So 120 times 4 times 18.016 divided by 44.094, divided by 1, divided by 1. And that gives me, looks like I'm dealing with three sig figs here. So that gives me 196 grams of water.